Welcome to Basic Cooking with Chef Ag now. So today I'm going to make a marinade for my fish. I have three beautiful rock fish that I'm going to cook tonight. So what I'm going to do is make the marinade right now. Marinate them and have them sit. So I decided to go ahead and make a marinade that's a little Asian flavor. So we have a little soy sauce here, some hoisin sauce here. And we have this uh, chili pepper <coughs> sauce or uh, sriracha hot chili sauce. We have some ginger, fresh ginger. We have a little bit of fennel, tips, cilantro and parsley, onions, one orange, one lemon juice, couple of garlics. So basically, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and make a nice uh, smooth marinade that can also be used as a dressing uh, in case you wanna dress him for a salad or something like that. If you're using a baby bok choy or, or just, if you like it, you can use it with any other salads as long as you love it. So very easy, uh, again, this cooking is a fun thing. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna puree everything right here. Now, when you do the marinade, you're gonna puree. You don't really wanna dice everything to perfection. You're just gonna throw kind of rough chopped, whatever, like for instance, the herbs. I'm not gonna chop the herbs. I'm just gonna take them like this. I'm gonna throw them like that. That's how easy it is. Garlic, I'm just gonna peel it, but I'm not gonna chop it up and throw it the same way. Ginger, just peel it, take a little bit, throw it the same way. So I'm gonna show you all that. So I take my arms like this, just gotta peel it. easy sauce to make you need a lot of flavors you don't want to throw them away look at that okay this is done push it away now garlic all you gotta do is take the skin out That's it, Dan, one more. Because everything is gonna be blended in here, chopped. So all you need to do is take the skin because this does not chop. Okay, same thing with the onion. Remember, when you leave this here, it doesn't make you cry as much. I will put the recipe with the measurements for right now. We're just kind of rushing things up because tonight we're gonna do some kind of live cooking with my chefs. You can onion, you peel it like this. You hold it like that. And just rough chop. I think that's plenty of onions. We don't want this to be overpowering. Little fennel there, with cilantro and parsley there. Now we're gonna add some ginger. Thank God for whoever created these. <laughs> they make your life so easy. So 
gingerly get it. Just you don't want to overpower it, take the skin out. Just like that. Maybe cut in some of the hair. Now we gotta add some lemon juice. It's half a lemon. Get some rice vinegar as well. So let's finish with this Dijon. Just a little teaspoon of Dijon. Let's give it a mustard kick. And this is a sauce or dressing or a marinade that you can keep for a long time. Now you got soy sauce, just remember, soy sauce is salty, so you don't really need to add salt to this dish. Poison sauce is a little sweet, but it has a lot of uh, flavor. Let's get some sauce as well, some salt. So just be careful, one teaspoon, very powerful. We usually use this for the duck. Nice dark sauce, but it's gonna give a really nice flavor to this marinade. And then a little kick. You do need some kind of chili sauce. All right, I'm gonna finish it up with, and then I'm gonna add sesame oil. One tablespoon rice vinegar. We're gonna clean up and then we're gonna puree this. So let's check again. So we have our blender here with put parsley, cilantro, some fennel. Uh, we missed lemongrass. So we're gonna add some lemongrass. We get some Dijon, some soy sauce, hoisin sauce rice vinegar and then we get a chili sauce so we're gonna infuse it with some more lemongrass and lemongrass you gotta peel it a little bit i love this stuff it's not too strong but it gives a good flavor i like to use the inside more it just kind of bruise it a little bit i mean you can just bruise it with a knife And we're gonna add this to the mix. Voila. We had our ginger in there. Now the most important thing that's missing is sesame oil. So we're gonna add one cup of sesame oil. Oh boy. This is really like kids food stuff. There we go. Now we got all our ingredients. All we gotta do now is push the button. We go. So we have our nice marinade. You take your fish, you rub it with this. 
and this afternoon it's ready to go. You always want to pulse in the beginning so it gets liquid. thing I mean they really make your life easy I mean for emergency situation Pulsing. taste it make sure it's okay it's got enough kick seasoning and flavor that I need always taste your food oh my god wow this is to die for this is gonna be so good okay I'm gonna get ready to marinate the fish. So now that our marinade is done, we're gonna pour it right, into a nice container. So if you wanna make a dressing, all you have to do is add more oil to this more acid like lemon juice and then you have a vinaigrette if you want to make it more like a sauce just add more ingredients and thicken it up a little bit so anyway now it's that's what we have for the fish it will make my life so easy i picked up this beautiful beautiful local rock fish um, this is actually our DC lock rockfish. I mean, it's very well known. I personally went one time deep fishing and I cut rockfish, but you can cut it a lot bigger. Uh, for this event, I just want smaller pieces. Not too small, but not too big either. So this is like kind of a small size versus the, the one we usually cut, which is the like that, but it's delicacy, it's local delicacy, it's seasonal, it's beautiful. This time of the year, it's perfect. Um, it's fresh, you can see when you touch it, you rebound it back, it, there is no sticky thing, so. And that's it, we're just gonna take a little spoon and marinate it. This is that. I like to cook it with the head on, it gives it a nice look. And this is actually really healthy for you this time of the year. So 
So dish has everything you need. And then I gotta go inside as well. A lot of people marinate the fish overnight. I really discourage that because when you do that, what happens? You're actually cooking your fish because the acid penetrates into the protein and cooks it. So I take three hours, two hours, four hours, depend how thick the fish is or how tough it is or how old it is. This is not old, so you don't need too much marinade. Because originally they come up with marinade to offset the smell of the items getting old. Now we enhance the marinade to be more like adding flavor. So I'm, all, I'm done. This is it. So I'm going to keep my fish refrigerated until the pot is done. I'm going to put this in the grill. I'm going to be, be careful not to scorch the skin, so I'm going to kind of put it in the middle, high heat in the beginning, and then lower the heat. I will see you soon.